Hey man, this is Mr. Eve Cheese. And I'm Tommy Cat. This is our view of the McFarlane Toys Color Tops Spawn oh. figure. <laughs> Seven inch figure. <laughs> Spawn Rebirth, whatever that's about. But this is an, a Christmas present from Zombie Cat to me. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> Look at this box. That looks pretty cool. Little picture there. It's a spawn on the side. He's number 10 of the blue series. And look on the back. See some more pictures of it. There's also a Toys R Us exclusive maskless version. But I don't really want that one, so... Yeah, poop on him. <laughs> yeah, I like this one better. I, it always annoyed me when he took his mask off. I didn't even see the maskless one when I was looking through them. Because they had like, I swear, like 30 of these things. And I looked through like half of them and they were all the ones with the mask on. I didn't even notice they had the maskless one. Oh wait, she got me something else too. <laughs> she also got me the color top. I mean, she also got me the Funko Pop Mr. T figure. It was actually the... the uh, B.A. Baracus. Yeah, from the A-Team. But I just consider this a Mr. T figure. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I got him. Because it's Mr. T. <laughs> this is something I wish NECA would make. I wish they made the um, Clubber Lang from Rocky. But I wish they'd just make a Mr. T figure. That'd be really cool. I'd rather have that. With his chains and everything. I just I was really impressed too by the job they did on his camo pants. So that little tiny pattern looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. I like him. <laughs> well, we gotta open his spawn figure up. Alright, so there he is, open up and got the guns in his hands, which are it's difficult. His hands are really hard and it's hard to get the guns into his hands, but we got him. He's so hard. <laughs> He's also got a stand, but he don't really need it. It's a spawn on it. I do like the lettering on it though, and the texture on the top. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, like a brick. Black brick road. Yeah. <laughs> In an alley. But you can see, because of his cape, I think he just you don't really need the stand. You can stand. And his part. giant foot. Yeah. <laughs> that always helps. Yeah, and uh, you can see his guns. Kind of a weird looking gun. But I mean, that's how they drew him in the Spawn comics. In the 90s, like they had really ridiculous technology with the weapons they had. I really like his little gun, though. It's still huge, but not as big as that one. Yeah, it's kind of funny looking, but I like it. And he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation like a lot of the color tops, but he does have some, mostly in the elbows. You can see he can do that. And I think he could, yeah, he could turn it like that. A little bit in the wrist, he could spin. Then over this elbow. Does his head move? I think his head turns, doesn't it? I think so. I think that's about it for the. I could spin there. The wrist can spin. And the head, yeah, the head could turn. Anything else? Well, like these could turn, but there's no point in turning them. I don't think he has any waist articulation. No. Well, yeah, he does. Oh, well, he does twist. I didn't think he did. But still, that's one of them ones that's pointless. There's no real yeah. point in turning it. Now, McFarland made tons and tons of spawn figures, and I have a bunch of them still. But this one, the sculpt and detail on this one are really, really nice. Like, it might yeah, his be... musculature looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the way they did the, um... The white strips are, like, sculpted on and not just painted. They look pretty cool. And on the mask, too, it looks really cool. The way they did that. He does have a few small imperfections, like he has like the spot on his arm where the finish is a little messed up. There's almost like a little bit of white there. But overall, I think he looks really awesome. One thing I like is his actually moving him around and stuff. These spikes are sharp enough they actually kind of hurt. <laughs> yeah, they look good too. Usually on figures when they have spikes they're very dull. But these ones are actually sort of sharp. They actually hurt if you're pressing on them. And there's a lot of spikes too. I mean, look at all these spikes he's got all over him. Look at his ridiculous cape. They did a good job on the bottom of the cape. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, there's the bottom. I like how the tails of it are like kind of curling up. Oh, there, yeah, there's, there's some actually, texture to his cape. Yeah, and it's got some shading in there. This looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very dirty, like he's been doing some shit. I like these bullets he's got here. What is that called? A bandolier. Bandolier, yeah. That looks really cool. It's really flexible. I like his belt. Yep, lots of pouches. Got his cool skull. And chains. 
coming out of it. <laughs> yep, I like the way the chains are. Looks like they're, I think they're attached to his leg. Yeah, they're attached to his leg right there. And right there, to keep him in position, I guess. But it's a cool position, so it don't matter. Yep. <laughs> and you got his forearm armor there. Nice design of that. Over here is basically just bracelets and armbands. Arm bands. He's got his belt with pouches on it. He's got this thigh thing with pouches on it. Down here he's got his big clunky leg, which I never... That's, <laughs> it wasn't just spawned. Like, Todd McFarlane designed a bunch of characters that had these big clunky legs with these... Like, on one side. <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell? Who would... If you walk around like that, be like... Clunk, and clunk, his, his leg on that clunk. side is actually thicker than the other one, which makes sense because he has to pick that big-ass foot up. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you're ever in a store and you're trying on a pair of shoes and you put the one shoe on, the other foot's... A, you walk and it's like, it's so weird walking with just one shoe on. And like, just think of you had this giant thing hanging on your foot. I <laughs> like the way just the little end of the toe pokes out, yeah. too. <laughs> That'd be making it really hard on your feet when you're trying to... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Another thing about Stone Katie is, like, this is like... He's like gets this costume from hell, and he's got all these spikes and armor and stuff, and skull and stuff, and like then he gets his hell pouches right there. It's like we're gonna give you some hell pouches for your leg to go Who along with Katie? your spikes and and uh, other stuff, huh? Who is Katie? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's I like these parts of his cape too up here. Bell always looks really cool. So, this is a pretty cool figure. I wish he had more articulation. Like, that's one thing that just annoys me about these color tops, is I wish they had articulation. Like, he should have, it'd be so much cooler if he had knees and articulation there, up at the shoulders. I'd much prefer that over just a statue. Well, I think this is the first one of the color tops that we really disagree on a lot. Because for him, how well he's sculpted, it actually doesn't bother me that he's not articulated. Well, he just looks so good. That's, yeah, I think he looks good. I'm okay with him just being a statue. He's definitely my favorite color tops for me. Still, if I had to pick, I would pick that he had articulation. But for a statue, I do like, I really like him. And it's cool, there is some articulation. Yeah, with him, I just, I didn't even know that this existed. Like, you never told me about him. And I just went to the store and saw him. I'm like, he looks pretty fucking cool and bought him. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a uh, spawn color top next to a couple of the Walking Dead color tops. And they kind of look cool together. <laughs> yeah, but he, I definitely still think he's way cooler than them. Well, uh, well, I guess. It's just, the thing for me is they did such a good job of making like Daryl Michonne look like the actual actors. and, and no, I, I do agree with that. I just think he's cooler. I do. I don't know. For me, it's hard to compare. I do think he's really freaking awesome, though. But yeah, it's hard to compare a superhero demon thing next to regular people. So there's one of the older spawn figures that I have. And uh, the detail on this one's pretty damn good too. Like you see there's texture all through the cape and shading and everything. You drop a skull. That's not a skull he goes to because he's supposed to be holding a skull, but I don't know where it is. So he's holding a NECA Predator skull right now. They're still very statue-like. You can see the red is a lot darker on this one. I don't like the darkness. I think it should be a little more brighter because Spawn's cape's usually bright. So that's really something that's really good about the new one. I do kind of like the uh, real chains they used on the old one though. That's pretty cool. And the spikes on this one are sharp just like this one. They kind of hurt when you squeeze on them. But this is the one where he's th sitting on his throne of garbage. Which is pretty cool. And it's one of my favorite spawn figures that I have but yeah you can see the level of detail similar it seems like there's a lot of texture on the skin which I don't really know if it's necessary also like this one's more black too that's another thing is spawns usually black it's just like gray I don't like it when he's gray gray <laughs> so I like the darker black the brighter red better than dark red and gray but still that they're both really cool in their own way so 
I really like this Spawn figure. He is really cool. And I do like him, like as a color top, as like a statue. I do think he's really freaking awesome. And the sculpt and paint are really awesome. And I do like his two accessories, although this gun's a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's still cool looking. Yeah. So I think he's pretty awesome. I'm just going to let you ramble because it's your present that I bought, so obviously I like him. And I like this little Mr. T, B.A. Brax thing. <laughs> I really like uh, most of the time I don't like the pops but some of the ones they've made recently are really cool like I got the whole set of Monty Python and the Holy Grail ones and I was pretty happy and this guy looks awesome yeah <laughs> well I think he's pretty cool so Miss Mr. Eve Cheese and I'm Zombie Cat thanks for watching goodbye <laughs> so uh you say your name is Spawn that's right wow that's pretty cool I like your eye thingies, the white eye thingies on your mask. That looks really cool too. Thank you, Netman. I like your sort of spikes all over you. They look all demonic and everything. I like it. Thank you, Burning Skull Man. And I like your long cape. It looks very dark and brooding. Thank you, Pointed Ear Man. So, uh, how does those boots work? I mean, why, why is that boot so big? How do you even move your ankle? That makes no sense. That thing's got a way of turn. That must make it really hard to fight. Why? Why would you have that on your leg? I mean, at least have it on both legs if you're going to have it, but just one? What the hell, man? Yes, that is very impractical. Why would you put that on your foot? That makes absolutely no sense. You're going to get yourself killed tripping over yourself. I would get that removed immediately. I'm a pretty nimble guy, and I cannot jump around. And do what I do with that big thing on my foot. How do you do that? Like, how do the spikes not just bang off of each other anyway? But the thing, the thing is huge. I mean, I'm sure if you got a lot of strength, it would hurt if you kick somebody with it. But still, man, that's got to be a pain in the butt. Why are you guys picking on me? Is it because of my? Why are you guys picking on me so much? I like your chains too. I didn't. I forgot to mention I like your chains. How's that? Compliment. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks again, Burning Skull Man. I don't even have superpowers and I don't need to use guns. You have superpowers and you're using guns. What the hell? Well, it's because, you know, because I don't want to use up all my powers. Use up all your powers? What are you talking about? I think he's got limited powers. He loses them after a certain amount of time. That sucks. Man, I'm sorry. Still, you shouldn't shoot people. Exactly. I don't agree with killing. I'm sometimes okay with it, sometimes not. Uh, it just depends who's writing me. I don't care what you guys think. I do what I want. I'm Spawn. Go away. Leave me alone. Go, go talk to Cogliter Cogliter from Adamus or whatever his name is. Maybe try to kill Madden Jiboga Joe. So is that really what we'd turn into if all three of us were mixed together? If I was in this mixture, that giant boot would never be part of the outfit. Makes no sense. I agree. Me too. But I do like the spikes on it. Pretty damn cool. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh!